Hi, uh, my name's Chris Wheeler. I'm the uh, series set manager for Underbelly 2 and we're down in Cronulla filming uh, out on a boat today where a certain chap gets thrown over the back with a rather heavy weight attached to his feet. Uh, you'll see that in the show. Um, we'd just like to thank Sutherland Shire Council for having us down here. It's great to be down here. I'm a Northern Beaches boy myself, but I appreciate it here. Um, the council have been fantastic and it's making the show look really good for us. Again, thank you very much for your kind assistance and having us with you. Bye. Hi, I'm Luke Torrivillis. I'm a producer. Uh, we're actually here today uh, at Sutherland Shire, um, Cronulla Beach, just north of Wanda. Uh, we're shooting a film clip for Jessica Maboy, one of the scenes for her upcoming clips. Um, we uh, often um, try to get down here to the Shire. It's a fantastic place to shoot. Um, extremely film friendly and uh, I love it's just so easy for me to call up Catherine say Catherine I need a location help us help us out here um, and their, their whole department is fantastic to work with so um, it's a great day I mean there's a bit of a cloud right here now but otherwise every time I've been here it's fantastic the, be the beaches are great uh, some of the roads and some of the the back areas some of the jetties are fantastic to use and um, every time I've shot down here there's never been any problem so um, if you're thinking about coming down here to shoot or having an event, it's fantastic. Hi, my name's Tim Whidden. I'm a film location manager and uh, down here in Sutherland Shire Council we do a lot of filming. Uh, I've been working here for years. We've done uh, shoots for White Collar Blue, Black Jack, Comedy Inc, Double Take, all sorts of things. Uh, working down here is very straightforward, very easy. Uh, it makes a huge difference to have a great council to work with, with great contact people who foster filming uh, instead of discouraging it. Um, that really is a huge difference. The fee structures are great, uh, recognising the difference between a large crew and a small crew and the different needs those sorts of crews have. Um, they can deal with applications on short notice. So uh, thank you very much to Sutherland Shire Council and to Catherine Leather. Um, you make my life so much easier. Hi, I'm Lorna. I'm one of the producers from a company called Corner Box here in Sydney. We are filming here today at Cronulla Beach for a show we're making for Channel 7 called 10 Years Younger in 10 Days. We're down here with Pam Burridge doing a surfing session and we love coming to Cronulla. We've been down here for a few of our filming segments just because everybody at Sutherland Council is so easy to work with and really helpful. Everything um, about filming at Cronulla is really great for us. It's easy, um, one stop and you get all this beautiful beach. My name's Simon Thomas, I'm a producer with uh, Southern Star. One of the reasons why we come down to the Southern Shire for filming, or at least myself I do, is because it gives us some pretty locations, but also it's always easy to organise with the council. You just pick up the phone, it's only a little bit of paperwork and it's done. There's none of the headache that you get with dealing with other people. Hello, I'm Louise Smith, I'm the producer of The Square. This is Joel, one of the stars and one of the co-writers of the film, and Nash who directed the film. And We shot the movie down here in the Sutherland Shire and it was a really fantastic experience. Initially I had written the film to be, our film, The Square, to be set up in Queensland and um, among the uh, sort of fake canal systems up there, the man-made canals and because Nash was keen on shooting in Sydney because he knew a lot of Sydney crew, we wanted to find a similar location to that up here and so we started looking at the uh, various sort of locations around Sutherland and Thankfully, it also turned out that the council here is, is an incredibly helpful uh, council when it comes to filming and, and really encourages filmmakers. And certain other areas of Sydney uh, uh, aren't as kind of helpful and uh, as, as encouraging. And um, so it's great to come to a place that kind of suits your location, but also really um, serves all your needs in terms of, of, of that. Uh, kind of healthy encouragement and, and, and the cost of shooting which can be a real, real big burden and can actually kind of cause you to not shoot certain places when costs are too high so we, we had a really fantastic experience and then on top of that you know the locals were, were really welcoming and accepting of us choosing their houses as locations and um, you know it's been great. Is it my turn? Your turn, yeah. Are we out of time? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> thanks for uh, you know letting us shoot in the Shire. We'll come and shoot again. <laughs> now everything I write is set in the Shire, so. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you tapped on something which was really key: is that um, one of the amazing things was that everyone at the Shire, including the birds, 
Sound is not a problem in the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, the amazing thing as well about shooting in the Shire, we had some pretty tricky locations that we needed to find mm. and Catherine and the whole team at the Shire were really helpful to getting us access to a whole lot of things that we wouldn't normally and also just offering up suggestions of locations and we ended up shooting in one of the Shire's own houses that they let us do Set fire to. pretty, yeah, disastrous things to. <laughs> and so that was great and um, yeah, the locals were amazing. Yeah, so. G'day, I'm Dr Harry Cooper from Better Homes and Gardens and we're back in the Sutherland Shire. As a matter of fact, I'm here in the Helena Street Reserve and we're here to shoot a story on dog friendly parks and dog behaviour in general. The cooperation that we get from Sutherland Shire Council is absolutely fantastic. To be able to come here and just have what is virtually open slather to take pictures in this area is quite remarkable compared with so many other councils around the place, believe you me. This goes to air somewhere down the track about May, June time I think. It's a story about taking your dog to a dog free area for the first time. Now there's a lots of councils provide dog free areas, but they don't provide them with fencing. So this is a real plus in that the area is fenced off, therefore dogs that don't necessarily have the best recall can be let free in this area and allowed to mix. Now you and I go out and have a cup of coffee, or we have a beer with the boys, or whatever. Dogs need to interact with one another. It's very important. And this area provides that opportunity for them to do just that because dogs are social animals, they live in a pack and they need to mix with one another. So hats off to the council. You got this one spot on. Hi, my name's Mary Baltrop and I'm a location manager, one of the many location managers working in Sydney. Um, I've done a, quite a lot of filming in Sutherland Shire Council area and without question, I always recommend it as one of the best places to film in the whole of the Sydney metropolitan area. Um, it has a, a wonderful selection of locations to choose from. It's economical. The council and um, everyone who works there are very, very flexible about trying to accommodate all filming inquiries as far as, far as they possibly can. Um, and they respond extremely quickly to um, all of our inquiries, which is fantastic for location managers, as, um, as we can all understand. We get very, very last minute queries and I know I can always get on the phone to the council and um, even ask their advice on where would be best to film. I have a brief that's always given to us by a director or a designer and um, I can get straight on the phone to the council and say where, where could we film this, this and this and they can always recommend really good spots to film at in Southern Shire Council. So I would um, highly, highly recommend it as I always do to film in the Southern Shire Council.